Tom and Jerry's Giant Adventure is amazing and I think my favourite Tom and Jerry film. I absolutely loved this. This was released in 2013. It's directed by Spike Brandt and Tony Carvone and written by Paul Dini. And we have a, a brilliant voice cast including uh, Kath Succi and Jacob Berndrant and Tom Wilson, Greg Griffin, Joe DiMaggio, really awesome voice cast and a great cast of characters as well. On the one hand, I want to talk about everything. I want to mention so many things that I loved, but at the same time, I want to hold back because I thoroughly recommend it and I don't really want to spoil too much. So I will mention a couple of small personal highlights, but I won't go into too much detail and I certainly won't spoil the overarching narrative. Tom and Jerry are uh, living on this amusement park with a boy called Jack and his mother. And it's a fairy tale themed amusement park. It looks brilliant. Really great idea. Would definitely go there. Unfortunately, financially, they're not doing very well. And they really need some money to meet at least the next month's mortgage payment. Jack goes off with the cow to sell the cow to get some money. It's a cow called Hermione. And instead, he trades it for magic beans. And of course, the magic beans grow into a beanstalk, up they go, and it's basically a real life fairy tale. And everywhere you look, there are fairy tale characters, nursery rhyme characters, there are some other MGM characters dressed as popular nursery rhyme characters. We have Droopy as Old King Cole, we have Screwy Squirrel, a couple of others, again, I don't want to mention or ruin everything. But everywhere you look, there are MGM references, nursery rhyme references, fairy tale references. The animation style is stunning. It is bright. It is gorgeous. It is so beautiful to look at. And the narrative itself is awesome. Obviously, once they get up there, they are faced with a, a difficult situation because there is a, a very um, greedy giant and... Obviously, that poses some problems for Jack and Tom and Jerry and, of course, the other characters that they join. They join various fairy tale characters as they go on this journey and it's just, it's stunning. The narrative is maybe not the most fascinating. It's a great narrative, but for me, that's not the draw. The draw is the amount of characters and references and it's just so stunning. The music is absolutely gorgeous. The music is by Michael Tavera and we have really gorgeous renditions of a lot of recognisable songs and a lot of nursery rhymes and things and I just, I loved it. I loved every second of this. We also have a lot of comedy. Now, it's rare that a Tom and Jerry film, even if I like it, it's rare that it will make me laugh. This made me laugh and I will share one. I will share one thing that I particularly enjoyed that I found to be very entertaining but before I do, before I forget to mention, another character I loved is the giant Tuffy. We have a giant Tuffy, absolutely fabulous. But the one joke that I will share, it's a joke that's quite early on. And it's when Jack's mother is confused as to how Jack could possibly have sold Hermione the cow for magic beans. And his mother turns to Tom and says something to the effect of, Tom, why didn't you talk him out of it? Tom is a silent character and he's a silent character in this film and I just found it so funny and there are a lot of other things in this that are just fabulous and every joke seemed to work so well. It's gorgeous, it's bright, it's vivid and vibrant and stunning to look at, gorgeous to listen to, so fun, so funny with a decent enough narrative as well. As I said, the narrative for me might not be the most unique, but when you throw everything else in there, the amazing characters, the constant references, I just adored every second of it. Definitely my favourite Tom and Jerry film. I still have a few more to see, but so far my favourite Tom and Jerry film. It will take a lot to beat it. Tom and Jerry's Giant Adventure is definitely, unquestionably one I'd be very happy to watch again, and I absolutely recommend it.